Toastmasters and my friends. When I was, when I was a boy, uh, 8 years old, I was young, and I, I tend to spend the evening at my grandma's house. Uh, at the, the weekend at my grandma's house. And the highlight of that stay at her house would not only be her food, but also watching football matches with my uncle. He, um, I watch with him, and every match, every match, he don't really have a team that support, but because he's a betting man. So whenever he take, supports uh, team A, I would support team B. That's just to be contrary. So there was one, there was one match I remember. His team scored the first goal within minutes of the game start, of the start of the game. And he was like cheering, yes! And he was like nudging me. Yes. Uh, so I was like, okay, that's uh, nice. And and I held it, I held it in. And minutes later, my team scored and we leveled. And my team scored another. And I was like, all right, this is going great. And when, my, and when the team that I supported went in, uh, scored the third goal, I was ecstatic. I screamed at him. I was like, at his ears, and I was like, yes, do you see that? And I was like, I'll hug him from behind. <laughs> and it was crazy. And I went to bed that night. I was the match we played over over in my head. And I began to support this team. So from then on I I I used to talk for this team on the television, I read newspaper, I want to see how this team is performing. And when they won, I felt happy generally. And when they when they lost, I I can't help but feel a bit done. And that went on for many years. Something was lacking. So come one night uh, in 2005, I was in my secondary school, and there was my team entered this uh, competition called Champions League. So for those of you who don't know what Champions League, uh, it's actually a competition where the best teams in Europe will actually compete against one another to be the champions of Europe. So my team was the underdog of that, that competition. And I really didn't expect them to win, uh, to, to, uh, them to even get past the early stages, but they did. And they entered the finals. <laughs> and so we stayed over at my friend's place and you know, we sat down and the game started. And you know something? The first minute, the opposition team scored. And it was, and my heart was felt real, my heart felt really heavy. Like I stayed at my friend's place, and this is this is the best night ever. And by half time, the opposition team scored three goals, and we were at zero. It was the longest half time of my life. I didn't see the light at the end of the, or the end of. It. So when the half time started, uh, out of nowhere, the captain, Captain Fantastic. He's got a goal. And, he, and instead of cheering and celebrating, he ran to everyone in his team and he waved his hands. And he said, it's not over and we can do this. Don't give up. And I really believe this when the second goal went in and my heart was pounding. And the third goal. And we won and we were the champions of Europe. And up to this moment, even up to today, when I think about that match and I talk about it, my, my skin was still, I was still getting goosebumps, you know. And it's really magical. So I really urge the non fans, the neutrals here, who never really got interested into football. So if, if you think that this is something that, um, you know, something special that you want to experience. Join me. Watch the match. <laughs> hear the echoes of the, of the fans. They cheer. And you can hear it from the television. See the entire stadium full of red shirts. Now it's really a very good time to be supporting this team because... Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> forever. Not for long. Because, <laughs> you know, because we are spending the least money, but we are competing with the champions. We are, we are being very consistent this season. 
I really think that this is really a se dead season, man. It's like, <laughs> it I want to end off with... I want to end off with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to end off with my favorite part of this... Uh, my favorite part of the song that we used to sing for, for this team. And it says, that at the end of the storm, it's a golden sky. And you'll never walk alone. <laughs> <All right. laughs>